hey guys welcome back to next gen blog uh, and in this video i want to show you how you can apply a perspective transition between two videos in vstc free video editor so it's actually super easy to apply a perspective transition between two videos in vstc so without further delay let's get started and see how you can do this now to demonstrate this i've already imported two demo videos in the editor so this is my first demo video and this is my second demo video and as you can see they are placed one after the other in the timeline so they are not overlapped which i normally do when i make a transition tutorial rather they are placed one after the other so next what you need to do is you need to double click on your first video now go to video effects go to transforms select perspective and then click on ok now currently the duration of this perspective effect is the entire duration of my video which is 14 seconds 200 milliseconds so i would like to reduce the duration of this perspective effect to just 500 milliseconds so inside the duration option you need to write 00, 00.500 and then press enter now place the perspective effect at the end of the video like this perfect now look inside the perspective settings which is present inside the properties window inside vertical currently false is selected so you need to change this from false to true inside perspective angles currently the value is 30 degree so you need to change this from 30 degree to 0 semicolon minus 90 and then press enter perfect now the next thing which we will do is we will add a zoom effect so go to video effects go to transforms select zoom and then click on ok now once again the duration of my zoom effect is the entire duration of my video which is 14 seconds 200 milliseconds so decrease the duration to 500 milliseconds so inside the duration option write 00, .500 and then press enter now place the zoom effect at the end of the video like this now look inside the zoom settings inside levels currently the value is 100 percent so do not make any changes inside this particular levels option inside x levels currently the value is 100 percent so you need to write instead of 100 you need to write 100 semicolon 0 and then press enter similarly inside y levels currently the value is 100 so instead of 100 you need to write 100 semicolon 0 and then press enter perfect next what we will do is we will add a rotate effect so go to video effects once again go to transforms select a rotate and then click on ok now decrease the duration of the rotate effect to 500 milliseconds so inside the duration option write 00, 00.500 and then press enter now place the rotate effect at the end of the video like this and look inside the rotate settings inside rotate angles currently the value is 30 degree so instead of 30 degree you need to write 360 semicolon 0 and then press enter perfect let's go back to the main editing timeline and let me just see how things are looking so right here perfect next what we will do is we will double click on the second video and we will repeat the process but we will change the values inside the perspective zoom and rotate maybe not rotate but definitely inside perspective and zoom so go to video effects go to transforms select perspective and then click on ok decrease the duration of the perspective effect to 500 milliseconds so insert the duration option write 00, 00.500 and then press enter look inside the perspective settings vertical is already set to true inside perspective angles option currently the value is 0 semicolon minus 90 so change this from 0 semicolon minus 90 to 90 semicolon 0 and then press enter 
perfect now once again let's go back to video effects go to transforms select zoom and then click on ok decrease the duration of the zoom effect so currently the duration is 9 seconds to 66 milliseconds so decrease the duration to 500 milliseconds so insert the duration option right 00, 00.500 and then press enter now look inside the zoom settings levels is set to 100 percent so that's fine x levels is set to 100 semicolon 0 so you need to change these values or if i have to put it more accurately you need to reverse these values so instead of 100 semicolon 0 you need to write 0 semicolon 100 and then press enter and inside y levels also instead of 100 semicolon 0 you need to write 0 semicolon 100 and then press enter perfect and finally go to video effects once again go to transforms select rotate and then click on ok decrease the duration of the rotate effect to 500 milliseconds so inside the duration option write 00, 00.500 and then press enter and look inside the rotate settings inside the rotate angles option currently the values are 360 semicolon 0 so you don't need to make any changes to this particular value and we are done so if i just quickly play the video for you from right here notice the perspective transition which will you know take place when the cursor moves from the first video to the second video perfect let me just quickly play this video for you once again so this is how you can apply a perspective transition between two videos in vscc free video editor do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching